I talked to that president. I have not talked to you since then, have I? No, sir. Uh, I told him that the manned mission was taken off within 30 minutes, that it included some of my most trusted advisors, including uh, Mann and Cy Vance and Harry McPherson, that it was a, a good group, that he must bear in mind that uh, uh, the enemies of both of us were exploiting uh, this thing, that uh, uh, he immediately said that uh, he wanted to revise all of our agreements, and that would have to be done. I told him that uh, we couldn't get into that, that I wanted to get the facts of what happened, that I understood this occurred on uh, uh, soil that we had in our area, that uh, uh, that's something we just should emphasize at every stage of the proceedings. That these were students and that I wanted to get the facts on it, and I didn't want it to be a, an excuse. Uh, uh, I didn't want people to have to use these methods in order to, uh, violent methods, in, in order to work out uh, agreeable arrangements that I appreciated uh, what he had done to ask for quiet, that I was asking our people to do the same, but that these men could uh, go into the factual situation with him and make a report, but I was cold and hard and tough as hell so that far as... Uh, exactly right. So far as uh, this is concerned, and I went back in and told our group here that uh, I thought we had to remember that a week ago, two or three weeks ago, I had to tell them in Bolivia I'd send whatever aid I needed in there to keep, make them release one of our people there. A few days later, a few days earlier, they had someone else locked up in another place, and I was damn tired of attacking our flag and our embassy and our USIS every time somebody got a little emotional outburst. And I'm so they, pleased. they better watch it. That's so, I'm so pleased. Now, you, 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 that's a great president. That's a man to go down in history. Now, I, we, I just want you to know that, and this group has gone, and Martin will be coming back tomorrow. But the old man uh, finally said, well, he's glad that he's talking to a man that has taken some action. And I said, well, he'll be there. And uh, I think Cy Vance will be pretty tough, too. Well, I tell old Mara down there's a pretty good man. Well, he's, uh, he's had to order his people to start shooting again. Yes. Well, that's all right. They've got to be shoot at them. You can't expect our people to stand there and be killed and not fire back. Well, I, I mean, it's not hot anywhere hot. in the world. I'm not trying to unjustify it or justify it. I'm just saying it's hot, hot as a fire truck. I, I realize it is. All right. I realize it is, but it's, it, 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 uh, it, it, it's wholly a mental state as far as we are concerned. And, uh, and, a, and a national image so far as the United Nations is concerned, and I think we can protect both. Well, I think the position that ought to be on the hill is we ought to be careful what we say, but for God's sake, to say anything, say we did right and acting promptly to send some uh, the ablest men we got down there. Now, they tell me that everybody in Latin America uh, is scared of this fellow man. They highly regard him because he's a tough guy. He's not the, the regular. Well, I hope he is. I think he's much tougher than the ones we've had, and uh, uh, he, he has a velvet glove, but I hope he has his little iron fingers under it. Well, he, he, I think he does. I think he does. Well, I'm counting on that.